All right guys, so today we're gonna start working on a little bit of a wiring project. Uh, I got a bunch of things I need to wire up and uh, it's all revolving around that switch panel that I made and uh, a relay box that I got. So let me show you what I got going right now. All right, so this is the relay box that I got. Uh, it's just one I bought off Amazon for like 20 bucks. I'll put a, I'll put a link down in the description uh, where you can get this. Um, but basically, you have room for this is a five relay and you can get a sixth relay but it's like a different design and i don't need it so i got a five relay box right here so it comes with five of the four prong relays but i needed a five prong relay for one of my wiring things so i got an extra five prong and i cut the little mounting tab off of it so it fits in there uh it also comes with all these terminals and fuses so that you can wire it up on the bottom. Let me show you the bottom. So this is what the bottom looks like. Uh, there's the top and the bottom. So you can put all those terminals in here and do all your wire routing underneath here. And then all your wires will collect and come out this hole. So I think I'm gonna mount this um, like right underneath where my intake is in the, in the wheel well, cause there's that frame roll right there. So I'll probably either find a hole or um, tap in some rib nuts in there so that I can uh, mount this box in there. And then I can route the wires down the outside of the frame rail through the wheel well and into a little grommet uh, that's towards the back of the wheel well that goes inside the car. And that's probably one of the easier ways to route the wires in so that I can get them to the switch panel. Uh, and I got a wiring diagram that I sketched up. So let me show you guys that real quick. Okay, so this is how I'm gonna wire up internal of the switch panel. And um, I kind of have an idea of what I'm gonna do with some of these relays, but uh, not all of them are set in stone. So uh, I'm just gonna basically start wiring up the ones that I know I'm gonna use at the moment. And this is supposed to be the switch panel. These are the fuses and then all the wires routing to the relays. And then this is kind of a wire routing diagram. So here's the uh, relay box where it's gonna mount right in the uh, wheel well up at the front. By the, like, I guess it's technically the front bumper is where it's gonna mount in there. And then I have the wires running in from the switch panel. I'm going to have some 12 volt ignition and some 12 volt constant. Those are going to run out into the relay box, uh, ground coming out of the relay box, all the sensor outputs coming out of the box and going to its corresponding thing. So this is just the general guidelines of uh, what I'm going to follow. But what I want to do first is, um, cause I need to start routing wires to figure out all these lengths in order to plug those into the back of the, the relay box. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to tie in all these um, wires that go from the power fuse to the relays. And as well as I'm gonna chain the um, grounds together so that they come out as one ground wire. Uh, I'm gonna do that since I can get that going without having to do measurements. So we're just gonna get this relay box sort of situated and started with the wires that are just routed internally in the relay box. For now, I'm just gonna wire up the, the lights the uh, boost controller and the anti-lag system. So the first thing that I'm gonna wire is the ground. So uh, the ground's going to pin 86, which is this one on all of these. So I'm going to start at the further back one, do a loop, put in another one of these terminals, do another loop, put another one of the terminals. And I'm just gonna do that so that it comes out as one wire. And I'm just gonna have that wire, um, I'll probably give it like two feet on there. Uh, just so I have plenty of room to find a ground um, outside of the relay. All right, so I learned this technique from somebody else, so I'm not gonna take credit from it. I'm not going to cut this and, you know, double splice a wire. I'm gonna kind of loop it and get an idea of what size I need it to be. And then right in that spot, I'm going to strip out a section of the wire, fold it in half, and put it in this thing and crimp it down so that the wire actually doesn't break. It just folds over itself and it's all still one wire. I don't know if that actually matters or not, but it makes sense that that might make a safer ground. So I'm just gonna do it that way. Okay, so if you can see right here, I got this and I twisted the wire. So it's all still one wire. And I split it down the middle so that these can plug in to their respective holes. 
and now I just need to jump jump to all the uh, pin 86s so I'm gonna keep going through and doing that <clears throat> I got all the terminals linked together so now I'm gonna go ahead and plug them in all the grounds are in and they all come out as this one wire so I'm just gonna route this wire through leave a bit of excess on there just so I have plenty of uh, wire to find a ground all right so now i'm going to uh go through and wire the um switched power wires to each of the prongs on the relay All right, so this might be a little difficult to understand because uh, all the wires are pretty much the same. But you see the ground that I have jumped across each pin 86. Now the power from the switched 12 volt is supposed to go to pin 85, which is right here. So if you can see, these are all the fuse spots. This is the, the fuse in, that's the fuse out. So I have the, the wire coming from the fuse over to here. That's for switch one. Then this wire comes down here, goes into there. That's for switch two. And then this wire comes over here, switch three, switch four, and switch five. So for wiring the boost controller and the anti-lag, pin 30 needs to be occupied with a wire going to the pigtail and stuff like that. But all the other things are for, I guess, switches and motors. So for the lights and uh, cut out if I plan on doing that. All those other ones, it requires a power wire going to terminal 30 as well. So uh, I didn't draw it on the diagram the correct way, but uh, you need a non-switched 12 volt source. So like, I mean like when the ignition's on, you have 12 volts running to pin 30 on each switch. Uh, and that's to charge the relay. This wire right here, goes into the fuse uh, and this isn't going to be connected to a switch it's just going to be tapped to 12 volt uh, and then that comes into here and here and here so it goes into pin 30 on each of those so now all i need to do is route six wires from the switch panel through the firewall to the relay box and then out of the relay box i need to route uh, any signal wires i want to send to switch panels and um the signal wires to go to uh, the MAF sensor and the boost control solenoid. Okay, so I got the switch panel out of the car. If you haven't seen the video of me making the switch panel and this carbon fiber bezel, I'll put a card up in the top so you can go check that out. So now this is out, I'm going to show you what my plan is for this. So we have the button and the four switches. This plug right here goes into where my cigarette lighter used to plug into. So it's got a 12 volt ignition source and a ground on it. So I'm gonna use this to supply power to this switch only. I was going to use it to supply power to all these. I think I'm gonna get a, a fuse, I already have a fuse tap in there that's tapped into 12 volt ignition. I'm gonna get another one that's tapped into 12 volt constant because um, these two switches right here are gonna be running on 12 volt ignition. So I'm gonna jump these two for the power supply and then these two are gonna be 12 volt constant. So I'm gonna jump these two together. All right, and there we have that. I uh, soldered them together and I ran a wire loom across to this thing and on the connector. So uh, it's all nice and tidy. And this will plug in and then I'm going to have to run uh, bullet connectors on each of the wires coming from the switches. So this one's gonna have a bullet connector on it and all the other switches are also gonna have bullet connectors on them. So as far as where I'm gonna mount it, it's gonna go right down here on this frame rail on the outside, uh, right below the intake. So uh, in order to get access to that spot, I gotta pull off the front bumper. So I'm gonna do that real quick. 
All right, so now that the front bumper's off, um, if you come down here, you can see now where I plan to mount it. So this little square hole right here, I think I'm gonna drill it out larger so that I can put a rib nut in there. And then the other rib nut should go around here and that should give it a good spot to mount to. Take a look inside here. Uh, you can see I got the glove box out so that I have access to all this area so that I can bring the wiring over here. Uh, so I shouldn't have any problems running the wires at this point. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop a hole in this uh, boot right here and feed a wire through and try to get it through uh, to where I need the switch panel to be. Okay, so I kind of routed the wire in the general vicinity. It's not gonna stay right now, but I want it to go up along this uh, top rail with this wiring harness right here. And then it'll go behind this and into here, pop out where the, the radio goes, and then come underneath this bar right here and pop out here. So I got some extra here. Um, I made sure it's kind of saggy here, so I got extra. I think, yeah, so I think I'm gonna cut it here, and then I'm gonna cut five more wires this length. All those are in. You got all the wires coming out here, so I'm going to organize these a little bit and number them. I got all these wires numbered to their corresponding port. Uh, now I need to try to get them through some wire loom. First, I'm going to throw some uh, heat shrink over the end here. That's just to hold the end of the wire loom once I get it on. This wire loom uh, can be a little bit tricky to get the wires through if you don't know a little trick, which I just figured out. But um, this stuff's expandable, so if you push it together, it gets big, and you can see the wires on the inside. Um, so this is where the end of the wires are. So I expand it where the end of the wires are, I pinch it at the end, and then I pull it down, and that forces the loom up the wire and then I repeat that I squeeze it by the end grab the end of the wire and push the expansion down and I just keep doing that until it gets to the top all right so you can see I did the heat shrink on the end of the wire loom to keep it up there I'm gonna plug in the rest of the wires and we're gonna go to the switch panel and then once this is all situated I'll put heat shrink on this one too so the relay box is pretty much wired up uh, how it's going to be for the time being until I decide what else I want to do with those other relays that I have left. But uh, we got the main uh, harness going to the switches coming on these wires. So we need to wire that into the switch panel. Uh, and then we have the two wires that go to the MAF sensor, the two wires that go to the boost controller, but I'm not going to do those quite yet. Um, this wire right here routes up to the LED strip. All right guys, so I got the harness through the wall and it's loomed through here. Goal is to get some power over here. I need a 12 volt ignition and a 12 volt constant. So over here, if you look, I got a an old fuse tap. This was wired to this gauge right up here for the lighting. And there was a another wire going over here for my old radar detector but now i got this one that's hardwired into the mirror so i don't need that anymore so i pulled that out this no longer has light but there's going to be a new gauge going in there soon anyway so i'm going to have to rewire it and i'm probably going to tie it in with those gauges so they're all on the same wire and then uh, i have this other fuse tap right down there and that goes to the gauges the center gauges so i'm not going to touch that this wire was wired into 12 volt ignition so i'm going to use this one to run a 12 volt ignition wire down to here then I'm gonna go buy another one figure out which fuse down here is uh, 12 volt constant and I'm gonna run a wire over here as well and that will power the switches which will in turn power these wires which will go to the relay box and then power the devices
All right, so I got my two wires fuse tapped and I have what I believe to be one of them is a 12 volt ignition and one of them is a 12 volt constant. I plug it into the stop light fuse, so the brake lights. So hopefully, I think that, cause I, I'm pretty sure when the car's off and I press the brakes, the lights come on. So I think that should be 12 volt constant. If not, I could switch it back later or find another fuse. So I got my 12 volt ignition, 12 volt constant coming through here. And I got all my switch wires coming through here. So uh, everything's a little bit long, so I need to cut it to length. Uh, but I want to have some extra so that I can unbolt stuff and uh, pull this panel off. I'm just going to get this stuff sized up now and get the ends crimped on everything so I can plug it together. And then the switches will be wired up. And then we got to put all this stuff back together. It's a little messy here, but if you can see this, we have 12 volt ignition coming in, goes to this switch number one, or switch number two, I mean, and then it jumps to switch number two. So these both, both switches have 12 volt ignition source. And then we have 12 volt constant coming to switch number three, and switch number three will jump to four eventually. And then we have 12 volt constant going to the relay box from this uh, 12 volt constant from the fuse tap. And then if you look on the top here, from left to right, we have switch two, switch three, switch four, switch five, and then uh, the buttons on its own uh, power system. So we just need to plug everything in, and I'm gonna get the battery plugged in now, and just make sure that the um, LED strips work, and then I'll start buttoning the rest of this together. All right, so here's what the final product looks like. You see down here is the relay box. We got some wires coming off, um, going into the MAF sensor wire. Haven't wired these in yet. Uh, and then these ones come up here, through there, into the engine bay lights. And then you can't see it, but it goes through the fender inside. Obviously, the inside looks the same. And we got the switch panel in there. And let me show you. Um, So third switch over is the LED lights. So turn that on and you come over here and lights are on. So relay box works, any ladder works, I've tested it out. So all of the other um, wiring is gonna be in different videos. So there's gonna be a LED light video, any lag video, boost control video. So if you wanna see all those, um, those will be posted after this video. So go check those ones out. All the boost control videos should be pretty fun to watch. So stay tuned for those so if you want to see those videos uh go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you'll get notified when those videos come out uh, if you like the video please leave a like down below uh, if you have any questions leave them in the comments down below if you aren't subscribed please consider subscribing if you know somebody who might like this video please share it with them and as always thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one peace